Hey guys, Michael with Green Fin Fly Shop, um, and today we're going to be tying the brim killer. Um, so this fly is very effective with, of course, brim, um, but also works very well on bass. Um, what I'm tying it with is a size 2 hook, um, short shank, but of course you can tie uh, the fly whatever hook size, whatever hook you prefer to tie on. Um, the materials um, are available on our website for sale, and this one actually has a package. So you'll be getting the uh, marabou, you'll get foam, and today we're going to be tying with the black foam. Uh, you'll also get the centipede legs, uh, this one is in green uh, and red, um, and the hook. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is a very, very easy uh, fly to tie for those of you who are just beginning and you know doing your own flies and all that um, If you're just starting out it might take you about you know three to four minutes You know if you're just a beginner, but and if you're you know intermediate to advanced this will take you I mean no less than a minute But I would definitely go slow for you guys here. So what I did here was took the marabou uh, You know fairly sparse. I tied on the back of the shank of the hook just get a few wraps in there. You know, you don't gotta go all stir crazy and all that um, while you're tying. Then next, what you want to do is uh, put some put a dab of glue just there like that. If you guys can see that, all right. Then we're gonna tie over that glue. This is just to hold the marabou in place, and also when you put down the foam, this gives it more of a cement. Now we're gonna tie in uh, the foam. We're gonna use black for this brim color. And I love this is my favorite favorite color to tie with with the brim color. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay the foam past the shank of the hook, so it overlaps on the marabou just like that. We're gonna give it a few wraps, just right there on the back. Nothing too crazy. All right, just like that. Now we're gonna bring our thread over here, and when you do that, what you want to make sure is that you're not tying you know, over the eye of the hook. So you want to just lift this up, take a quick peek like that, see where you're going to land your thread. So I know it's going to be right here. So you guys can see how it is right there, just like that. Awesome. Now, just give it a few wraps here in the front. Now you're going to take this part here, you're going to flip it over and put it on the back. Same where you put the first one, the first layer there. You just want to lay it probably just a little bit above or a little bit over that part of the foam. Then take your thread and we're going to tie this right in the center. So if you guys can see that, we got the thread right in the center of the foam. And once you start tying this, you can already tell that it's already becoming some sort of a buggy looking kind of thing. So you know you did it right when it's looking like, like that. So we're just gonna give it a few wraps. Make sure they're nice and tight. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the thread that I'm using is a black thread. You can use, uh, you know, whatever thread you want. I like to tie with black because, you know, it's I tie a lot natural, a lot, a lot with natural colors, and you know, black just seems like it's very fitting. I don't have to constantly be changing the the spools to, uh, you know, refill them all the time. Use the same color. All right. Next, we're gonna do the centipede legs. What I do here is, and this is you know my preference, you can do whatever you want. Some some guys like to double it over and then put the doubled on each side. I think for me that is too much. Um, it does the same effect in the water, whether it's one or two. A lot of guys might challenge me on that, but that's this is just um, my personal thing. So you I cut it, I take the, the entire centipede leg and I cut it in half and I use one side on one side, give it a few tight wraps. And you know, don't worry if the legs, when you first tie it, don't worry if the legs don't separate like this. Um, you'll get the hang of it sooner or later. Um, you know, if you want to tie, sometimes I know it happens where people, you know, don't tie it right in the center and it, the legs, the legs turn out to be like, like this, you know, that's okay. It's, it's totally fine. The fish, the fish, um, 
can't tell anyways the way where you put the thread or not. Um, take, so I'm gonna take my other piece, the other half. I'm gonna just eyeball it, whether it's centered or not. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, guys, nothing in nature is perfect. So we're gonna just tie it there. Give it a few tight wraps. Not too tight because then you're gonna break your thread, which is definitely not a problem. You can always just go over it. So there it is. You can see how it's looking. That looks like some kind of bug. Now, <clears throat> next you're gonna lift up this part here because you're gonna tie in here, just behind the eye of the hook. Let's give it a few wraps. That's pretty much, that's pretty good enough with how many wraps. And then you're gonna take your whip. You're gonna, we're gonna whip finishes. For those of you that um, haven't, you know, been able to use the whip finish, Takes a little bit, but of course you'll get the hang of it. I know there's a lot of tutorials on, on on YouTube that can show you how to use the whip finish. You don't have to use a whip finish for this. Uh, you can just use your fingers, you know, to, and you can just go like that, and then just close it off and cut it. I like to use whip finishes. I feel more secure when I'm tying the flies. I know they're not going to come apart. See, I just broke off my thread, but. They broke off at a great time. All right, so we'll cut a little bit of that off. Now, last thing, well, second to last thing, take your scissors, whichever scissors you want, um, and we're gonna cut, you're gonna cut here. It doesn't have to be in the center. If it's not in the center, it's not a big deal. No biggie. Um, sometimes I don't get it right either, but you can just take your scissor, cut it. It's gonna look something like that. Now, what I do is I usually press down with my thumb, like so. I press down on it, and then I just get it like that. Just, just a OCD thing. <laughs> um, so there it is. Now we're gonna add some glue here to the top where you put the thread and the legs there. Um, not too much because you don't want it over spilling or anything like that. And then you're gonna take the marker. I like to use silver for this one. Uh, you can use whatever color you want, except for black, because if you use black, of course, you're not gonna see it. So just give it a few dots here. Give it a little buggy looking, and uh, again, this is just for looks. Again, the fish probably don't even care that these dots are there. But just to make the fly look nice, if you wanna show off, you can do that. and. You can give the dots just like that. And that's pretty much it. Um, very simple fly, easy to tie, super fast. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's, you know, a lot of action with the legs every time you pop it with the fly line. And especially this marabou, when marabou gets wet, um, just sitting on top of the water still moves around. So that's very effective too. So got to hear the broom killer guys um, remember all the materials um, can be found on greenfinflyshop.com um, this comes again in a package so if you guys are interested please head over to the website and if you have any questions about this video or any questions any questions in general please shoot us a message um, we'll be glad to help you can also give us a call um, I'll be making more videos um, on the packages um, that we sell um, and even just to give you guys some more helpful tips for, you know, brim and bass flies. Uh, for now, my name is Michael, Greenfin Flash Up. You guys take care.